ladies and gents, welcome to the Lint Car Show. We're here for the first time checking the new Peugeot 208 in Alert trim. I had a similar car. This is the Mile Hybrid on test. I'm gonna get it for a full test uh, end of April, but uh, I wanted to show you the trim here because I'm gonna get it in the GT. Now, uh, we can't turn on the LED headlights for some reason, but we're gonna check out the car uh, anyway. Now, beautiful gray color and uh, the face that has the new daytime running lights here. These are three claws for the Lion. And uh, we can see here, this is the same LED headlights from the past model, but uh, they've added this black background. So we can see here Peugeot LED technology, signature inside, you have LED projectors and there's a bulb for the turn signal. Now you have also piano black details here and a little piano black trim on the top new shield Peugeot here looking premium and 208 in this matte gray finish and color of the vehicle on the grill you have the radar at the bottom and piano black lip there parking sensors here and here now if I back up here you can see the car looks really nice and the middle trim is nicely equipped as well now let's check the alloys here we have 16 inch alloys diamond cut silver on black with the new peugeot lug nut covers these are 195 55 r16 so a lot of comfort a lot of tire and the alloys look stylish now we have the piano black side mirrors turn signals no puddle lights and we can see the mirror here now checking the dash so we have the light and rain sensor I know there's a lot of glare and lane assist camera now no speakers on top of the dash but you do have them here in the a pillar now checking the profile looks gorgeous and very really stylish now you have keyless entry here and driver set has a physical uh, cylinder and you can see the sparks here in this metallic gray color look at this so it looks quite nice tinted windows on the back standard you have the shark fin antenna in black and you have this gorgeous spoiler it's going slightly upwards it has this nice tips here and if I back up you can see the rear LED taillights I cannot turn them on but uh, they are not vertical they're now horizontal and we have the bulbs for the turn signals but these are standard you even get them in the active package i reviewed as well now here you can see the fuel cap when you uncap this you can hang this guy here so your fuel cap doesn't scratch the clear coat you can see the back end so i kind of mask this in piano black you have the gray finish on the Peugeot signature you can see the 208 badge and on this one you can see the hybrid badge so we have piano black diffuser two strikes we have the fog light in the middle cat eyes and you can see the parking sensors now we have white illumination for the license plate illumination and a white backing camera you press here so we're gonna back up You can see that, opens nice and tall, I'm a two meter tall person. Or 6.6 .6 in feet, so opens tall. You can see you can pull here on both ends to close. Have those rubber stoppers so this doesn't ding. You can remove this one. And you can see how that looks. You can see the cargo space. Very generous for a small city hatchback. Now this is tall here, so you have like 10 fingers of height to the loading area. Underneath there is room for a spare tire, but you get a patching kit. And you can see this is plain, but you have a little grocery hook on the right side, nothing on the left, and also clothes on the left. Seats knock down 60, 40. Now, you can see the stoplight there as well. Let's get inside. Now, good opening and closing sound. And 
doors open okay, not too wide, but okay. Now you can flip this one to the side to lock for the kids inside if you have kids that are for safety. Hard plastic, but this is padded, so you can see contrast stitching there, all power windows, nice big candles, and a speaker there. Kind of uh, narrow pocket here, but you can fit something on the back. Now, these are the beautiful leather seats in the Allure, so they're leather rough textile, and you can see black textile on the side there. So contrast stitching, this is kind of a um, copper color, and it looks really gorgeous and premium inside. Now, you can pull here and knock this down, just watch for the seatbelt buckle, and you can see the inside, and you have the room on the top as well. So this one goes up and down, you press here to lower it, but I'm going to lift it up because I'm going to sit inside and you can see here you have this zippers behind them is the isofix. Now let's see if I can fit inside. I think the seat is kind of backed a little bit. Now to be fair, I am a tall person, so I would be hitting someone with the knees, definitely. There's okay feet room, but a bit tight. Now we have pockets here and these are the textile on the back so you can see that there are two USB C and A unfortunately no AC vents here that would be really nice if they added that transmission tunnel is not too tall uh, kind of wide there but check this out this is such a soft leather and it's nice and comfy now no armrest here but you can see the back view they try to maximize the headspace on the top and only the besides the driver all three sides have slowly closing handles now let's hear the closing sound good closing sound and good soundproof front seat belts are not height adjustable you can press here to lower this one so you can see that so you know it is a bit you know short for me but for an average person it should be okay Good closing sound, the front door opens wider and the front here also is hard plastic, have carbon fiber imitation and in the alert package you have this detail in white and you can see also they've padded here where you're gonna lean your elbow and add a white contrast stitching so you can lock the rear if you have kids on the back, all power windows fully automatic and you can adjust the side mirrors electronically. Now on the front you have big pockets and speaker there. Automatic standard rubber paddles. There's a AC vent there and you can see here you can pull this and then you can slide back and forward the seat. You can uh, control the height here and there is the wheel here for the tilt of the seat. Now the seats are also really nice finish. I love the alert package. I think it's very well equipped uh, for the 208. So you don't necessarily need to go for the Sport GT trim. And here you can see you can control the LED lights height. Sorry if my hand is slightly shaking. Uh, I forgot my tripod, so I'm holding the phone or the camera in my hands. You have the lane assist here. You can put the key fob here if your uh, battery is low. There is here a cruise control. Um, I'm pretty sure you know how this one works. And view at the top. And let's jump inside. So in Croatia, I had this one on test. Now steering column is manually adjustable here. You can uh, pull it out a little bit. It goes up and down, of course. Now let's hear the closing sound. Good closing sound. Now I had this car on test. It was slightly different. Didn't have the keyless entry. Switching to wide lens. So you can already check out the point of view driving on the channel if you're interested. Now the mile hybrid really blew me away because it is uh, excellent to be honest it's uh, acts like a plug-in hybrid but it's not so you don't have to charge it it has a small battery and it charges when you brake now the interior quality here is superb and you still have those touch buttons you have the new big screen so it is perfect let's zoom back in now you can see here we have nice texture so it gives you a nice grip it's a two-spoke Peugeot steering wheel, flat top and bottom. 
it's like a sports steering wheel but it's a bit smaller so it feels like a go-kart you can see here volume options this is for the infotainment options voice commands list this is also for the radio station source like bluetooth usb and phone calls you have this big paddles there are attached to the steering column not the steering wheel itself now uh, in this case uh, these are for shifting and here you can see uh, lights control you should keep them automatic wiper controls and the dash is padded it's soft you know we have some nice chrome details here for elegancy you have the air vent blowing to the side speakers in the a pillar now this is all soft but this around the visual cockpit is not now i reviewed the active package which has physical gauges with needles this is the allure and gets digital cockpit and then in the gt you would get a 3d cockpit but on all cars you get this as standard now the active has different infotainment graphic user interface like this one uh, check my gt review uh, i filmed the electric version uh, and you can check the full infotainment there now the test car it was actually the same color uh, had a physical key this one has a start stop in there and you can see the carbon fiber imitation it is not that bad it, it's imitation but it's okay now here you can see nice physical controls for the volume you can press to mute and uh, very generous you have the heated seats oh the infotainment came on you have the closed air circulation climate off ac max hazards you have the home touch shortcuts you can lock unlock the car from the inside and front and rear defrost on the bottom you have the usb-c on both ends this one's for fast charging obviously press here you have a wireless charger you can put your phone here and this one's plasticky you have the 12 volt outlet there now this is kind of starting to boot but it's taking forever so i'm not sure if it's going to boot without the key and uh, you can see here the automatic you have park and manual and this is shift by wire so it's really nice and high quality finish in aluminium this is a little like palm rest i guess you have smaller hands not a huge fan of this piano black but it is what it is electronic parking brake and driving modes unfortunately there is no auto hold you have two uh, cup sizes and you have a nice soft armrest it extends no levels but still good you have this little rubberized tray here and there is room here so you know it goes even deep inside here you can see my fingers go almost to this point here like you can see that and yeah it's kind of kind of deep inside storage room so that's nice and to show you here slowly opening spacious glove compartment it goes all the way inside i can't reach that far even with this long hands i have so uh, no isofix here but once again the seats yeah. are very comfortable and amazing now you have a basil on the mirror here you have the auto dimming i believe yep you have the these are temperature sensors you have the seat belt and front airbag information you have the led lights for some reason they won't turn on so i'm not sure if the battery is in some sort of mode transport mode i don't know it's a new car you have the road assistance and emergency call there and we have a documents holder and a privacy mirror so hello there now that's it so front headspace is okay not an issue for a tall person and generally this is high quality now the backing camera is hd the new screen has higher resolution it's faster more responsive same as the digital cockpit I wish I can show it to you, but you'll have to wait for the review. You can see the display here, but just switches off. So once again, you can see the display there. Now, um, we'll just have to watch another review that I made of the GT model. So you can check that one out if you want to see the displays. Uh, popping the bonnet, we're going to, uh, you know, check what's powering this little guy. So I think this is the mild hybrid, but we're going to check it out. So you can see here, uh, the blue thing here, dark blue, is your washer fluid. And the rest you should leave to the mechanics. So let it drop, closes perfectly. And you can see on the sun here, the, uh, the color pops. So let's 
beautiful looking gray metallic color and uh, black metallic side mirrors. Now, again, Peugeot 208, this is the 208 facelift, alert trim, hybrid, 100 horsepower. So, um, let me see here, automatic, selenium gray color. So these are the standard options here, I guess, and then it comes to 26, 690 in Austria here. And then we have the options, selenium gray, inductive charging, I believe, uh, Vision Park 1. So that's the AG camera, keyless uh, entry, navigation package, driver assist plus package, and not sure what this is, I, I don't know Deutsch. A few options here, it comes to 28,806, and they give you a little uh, discount on the car show, so you save, uh, and it comes to 27,306. So that's a nice deal, and this is a really nice uh, little car, now this is the mild hybrid, I believe, and it felt like a plug-in hybrid that you don't need to charge. So it's excellent. You can drive electric. Uh, it when you let go of the acceleration, it recuperates automatically. It feels great to drive it. It just has a lot of power combined with a little petrol. So definitely a huge recommendation. Again, there will be full review and driving of the uh, mild hybrid on the channel in the future. So do subscribe and click the bell to get notified when I upload that video. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more from Lynn's Car Show, do subscribe and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.